hello what's up youtube people welcome back to mp world in this video today i'm gonna discuss about 3d touch not working on your iphone actually apple had released i uh, apple had released 3d touch from iphone 6s to the rest current one iphone 10s max so some people maybe they are facing the problem with their 3d touch so i will tell some solutions to try many users have reported on this issue of 3d touch not working on iphone if you have faced the similar problem then i have listed a few possible solution that might help you these are the basic troubleshootings troubleshooting that have already helped some of my friends and me also so first you have to make sure your 3d touch setting from settings it's on turned on so tap on settings and go to general and tap on accessibility now little bit scroll down then you will get the 3d touch bar okay from my from my side my 3d touch is on so if your phone 3 touch is still turned off then you have to turn it on and you can also adjust it medium light or firm so i mean i'm using the medium on now what you have to do you have to press it hard enough on your phone while you were pressing pressing it hard don't worry no need to worry about it because it's hard enough for your fingers to break it most of the users they're thinking okay uh, if i press hard then maybe skin can break so that's why they are pressing lightly on the on the screen so no need to worry about it and try to place your finger on your phone and press the app with the pressure like this like this i'm pressing hard here and no need to worry about it and if it's not working still not working then you have to adjust the sensitivity i i, I have i have shown you the sensitivity from here so if it is still not working then you have to do the second option second option is you have to reset your phone and another thing is okay you have to check your ios version and you have to uh if you are not up to date then you have to update your iphone and from here and you, after that you have to reset your phone from settings and general and here we can see this reset option bar and we can see the lots of options here the reset all settings series all content and settings and reset network and settings so you have to first you have to apply the reset all the all the all settings this is the first uh, reset method so when you done with your reset and after that you can try again for three test sensitivity okay so if it's not working it's still not working if you are facing the same problem you still not solved your problem then you have to connect your the this this is the last option you have to connect your iphone with your mac or with your pc by usb cable lightning cable and you have to uh, turn on you have to turn on your itunes for this situation you have to turn on turn on your itunes on your pc or on your mac then uh, you have to reset restore your iphone by itunes by itunes if you done if you're done with your restore maybe it will take time like uh, you have to download full ios version on your itunes so it will take time i'm sure so after this uh set up as a new iphone and okay another very important thing before doing this method before applying this method you, you have to backup your all documents 
on your computer or you can um, take backup on your iCloud drive so basically uh, I'm telling you this thing I actually I don't want to lose your any data or maybe you will uh, get angry on me that's why I'm telling this thing so after backup you have, you, you have to restore your iPhone from I and thank you for watching guys if you like my video and if you like my solutions and if you get help from my solutions so please subscribe to my channel and share my video and please thumbs up on my video thank you for watching guys